on both occasions before Australia got the winning goal in the 40th minute. Australia didn't allow Great Britain to play the game they wanted to. The question is, can Great Britain impose themselves on Australia here tonight? Great Britain get this match against Australia underway. They're attacking the goal away to our left-hand side, playing in the white tops and shorts with red socks. Australia in their second strip of ochre and black. The speed that this game will be played at as Shipley just counter-attacks. Shipley into the circle and hits the back stick and it just loops up into the air. Question mark about whether it had even gone off. Brand looked back at the umpire and then Shipley gets across and cuts through it, but Ward... <laughs> Well, he was just going back post, I and mean, it wasn't actually as uncontrolled as it feels like. But here is Wett, and he's got Wicker to his outside, but he doesn't need him. Player of the match against Germany opens the scoring inside 90 seconds. Soft goal, so much time. Sharp needed to be stopped earlier. He finds Wetton because Great Britain got ball focused. It's a great strike, though. And you can't let Wetton run into the circle like that. And it's a good examination for them. Good lead from Shipley, and there is the answer. Lee Morton, it's one all. We haven't even played two minutes. Extraordinary response. Well, what have Great Britain got in the locker? A goal. This is Grace Sanford under the arm. Shipperley leads, lets it go. Morton steps in, past the advancing goalkeeper. Durst, who can do nothing. The pass under the arm. It's a fabulous finish. So uh, I think there's 20 seconds difference on the game clock from when Australia scored to when Great Britain scored. What a response from Great Britain. They're coming again, Australia. And then here is Ockenden. Ockenden driving, Ockenden across the face of goal! Back and saved! And wide! How did Payne, did Payne save on the line? I think he does. Well... OK, I'll check if the ball crossed the goal line, yes or no. The chase down here is just slightly out of camera shots across. Oh, that is sad. an absolutely brilliant save. Just stunning. How has he got across to this? Not sure the angle is going to be good enough, but you can't see along the line of that, and I don't think there's enough. I, I, that, that doesn't cross. That's the shot that could have been a corner. Kumamunga said he's played advantage twice. Payne somehow back across, Guys, makes the save, twice, eh? and there's Go. nothing in there that gives that as a goal. So, just stick with uh, your decision. Yeah. Yes. Mazzarello, same, thing. Sa same, same player. In from that right-hand side, Waller comes in, it hits the foot there. Now he's a good advantage. Into back foot, there's the shot and a good save. Harvey, he's got a bit of space. Can he pick the pass? And here's a chance. Oh, it's wide from Craig. The running. Th Again, they go to Welsh. A little bobble, that's gone through pain. That's disappointing from Molly Payne. Pointing from Molly Payne. Just can't get the heels together quick enough. And it is Australia who get the breakthrough just before half time, or do they? No, they must have felt that it had come because it comes back in so quickly. That little jump. Um, Will it taking the deflection? Will it getting the congratulations? Creed. Well, they haven't got a referral. Have Great Britain. Pan, is that what he's saying as it comes through? That's a horrible deflection. Nothing Payne can do. His weight's slightly offset. Uh, puts Australia 3 1 to the good. And Great Britain with their backs to the wall. Can ill afford to concede another? And they've conceded another penalty corner. And it comes. It is going to be way a good save. It comes back out. Returns and cleared. Second shot coming from Josh Belts. Double save from Payne, steps away, gets a good left foot clearance, very powerful, and steps in, stays big enough to get his feet together that time. All the way through a crowd of players, just needed to block that up. Does enough to stay balanced. I appreciate he's disappointed in that, but... Whoa! Oh, heavens above. I'll tell you what, Dawson's done well to get out of the way of that, because that's absolutely travelling. You can smile about it now. <laughs> he is... He, he's hammered that into the circle. He's hit something on the way through. Did it hit Dawson's stick and then missed Ward or hit Ward's stick? But I don't know. But Dawson... Just it's clattered something. Craig pulls it back, looking for a foot. Finds uh, Harvey. Here's Willett. Oh, oh. And there's the goal. It's Tom Craig who scores it. 
But Great Britain have been carved open in the final minute of the quarter. Super, super counter-attack. Harvey just shovels it in. He knows he can't get a shot. Creed had done enough to save it on the line. Great take from him. Harvey, very, very clever in the circle. Welsh goes round Payne. Payne can't get anything on it. Creed gets enough. Would have thought he's done enough. Craig pokes it in at the far post. He's so quick. What a takedown that is. He's pulled it into his body. Craig looking for the supporting runner. His feet in a cross. Oh, what a pass that is. Kai Willett with his second. It's a fifth for Australia, but it's all about Tom Craig. Beautiful takedown, beautiful pass, and Kai Willett slots it into the far corner. What a ball over the top, and look at this take. He pulls it back into his body to allow himself to get round it. Eyes up, under control, pulls it back a stance, rolls out, flips across. Will on the overlap, finishes bottom corner. Nothing Payne can do, but that is a stunning... Look at the acceleration around the back of Nurse in the middle of the goal. Draper there, can't do anything. He knows it's... From Australia, as they score in every quarter to thoroughly uh, get the better of Great Britain. Wetton got the ball rolling in the first minute. Then Welsh, Willett, Craig and Willett again. But Tom Craig is a real pain for Great Britain.